Hey guys, what's up? It's 7AP and today I have you a very exciting tutorial for all Windows XP and Vista user. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install file formats in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Also, how to make icons for Windows XP and Vista. So let's get started. Over here, I have two empty folders that's called music and pictures and I want to change those icons and that's what I'm going to show you guys to do today. I will be showing you guys how to create an icon in Adobe Photoshop CS4 and well we're going to use CS4 uh, Photoshop to design our icon but when we're done designing our icon we need a special format that uh, Windows XP and Vista could only use for your course and well right here I have plugins uh, it's an ICO plugin format that you guys are going to be needing for the icon and they both work um, but I have two because one is a 32 bit and the other one is a 64 bit and I'm currently using a 64 bit computer so um, I use a 64 bit and I'm going to show you guys how to install it. what you're going to do you're going to go to my computer then click on local disk or wherever you guys save Adobe Photoshop CS4 in this case I saved it inside local disk program files Adobe, Adobe Photoshop 64 bit, plugins, and you guys are going to go to file formats. And these are all the, the file formats that you guys save when you guys are done designing something in Adobe Photoshop CS4. And what you guys are going to do is on my video description, there's going to be two download links. One's going to be the 8 bit, I mean 32 bit, sorry, and the other one's going to be the 64 bit whichever computer you have go ahead and download the plugin and if you guys don't know what you're using go to my computer then you guys are gonna click system properties and then right here it should tell you system type 64 bit and that's what you guys are gonna do and in case in this case I have 64 so I'm gonna click and drag and confirm it and that's it and it's right here of course and um, also make sure you don't have Adobe Photoshop opened and if you do we'll just close just close it and open it again so that's what we're going to do right now I'm going to open Photoshop CS4 to create our icon then we're going to go to file new the width is going to be 256 and the height is going to be 256 click OK uh, one thing about icons is that icons don't have backgrounds in this case if you guys look into this folder this um, square right here that's highlighting it that's a whole icon but it's transparent and that's what icon is an icon is basically transparent so we're gonna have to double click on the background and then create a new layer delete the white layer and that's gonna be our icon and now we can start designing whatever we want so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and start designing my icon. You guys could design your own icon however you want it. So go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna shorten down the text size. I'm gonna call this music. I'm gonna make this around a bluish color. And I'm gonna change the font to whatever font you guys like go ahead and choose your home fonts okay in this case I got a Twitter font then I'm gonna make a stroke I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger and since it's a music file I would um, want some music symbols so to do that click on the custom shape tool click on the shape and then just here are a lot of icons you guys could use in this case I'm going to use this change the color to black then rasterize a the layer click Control T to make it shorter rotate it a bit a 
apply. And then I'm going to save it. And how am I going to save it? Very easy. You can click Control Shift S or go to File, Save As. Then go to your, you can save it wherever you want. In this case, I'm going to save it in my desktop. On the format, I'm going to click on the ICO Windows icon. And I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Music Icon, of course. Then click Save. Um, oh, music icon, then save, and just leave it as standard and press OK. And now for our last icon, our pictures icon. In this case, since it's pictures, I'm going to delete the music signs and just leave the picture name like that. I'm going to press V as a shortcut on the keyboard to get the move tool. And right there, that's what I want. Then I'm going to go to Control Shift S, Desktop, ICO Windows Icon, and I'm going to save this as Pictures Icon. Click OK. And then, well, that's about it for Photoshop. We could exit out through here. And then, as you can see, we have our both icons here. And how do we change them? Simple. Click on a folder, right click, Properties, Customize, Change Icon, Browse. Go to desktop and then find the music icon. Click OK. Click OK again and it's it changed. Same thing for the pictures. Customize change icon. Browse. Desktop. Pictures icon. OK. OK. And there it is. There's my picture icon and there's my music uh, icon. And with these, well, you guys can keep them in a safe place where nothing may happen to them. Make a folder, probably so. And well, yeah, that's it. And that's how you create icons in Photoshop CS4 and how to insert file formats. And now for the tip of the day. Always have your recent updates on your Windows XP or Vista. Why? Because when you don't update your computer, all Adobe products will not work. And that is a true fact because that always happens to me. So that's it for this video. Remember, if you need help, you can chat with me always at 7 productions at gmail.com, 7 productions at yahoo.com, or 7 productions at live.com. And if I'm not online, you guys could always send me a message and I'll respond to you back as soon as possible. Thanks and goodbye.